Hi guys, I'm Liviu and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna quickly review a portable soldering iron and this one comes from Secure. They contacted me and wanted to send me one for review but I've asked them for two units so that I can give one to you guys but all the details about the giveaway at the end of the video. So after you take it out from the box, this is what you will find inside, a uh, basic manual. In the manual you will find all the details regarding uh, operating the iron. You have an allen key and some spare bolts. And here we have a basic iron holder and a sponge that you can uh, wet and clean the tip with. I have to say this is a pretty practical thing on the field, just to keep it. This is the unit itself. And as you can see, it says from 12 volts to 24 volts and 17 watts up to 65 watts. What's the most important thing to note is that the maximum power is reached only at the maximum voltage input. So if you are powering it from 12 volts, you will not get up to 65 watts. So that means that if you are trying to solder a very big pad with a lot of copper, you will have issues uh, soldering such things with, um, with low power. Okay, we have the tip. I've asked Secure to send me specifically this tip because this is what I am using and I will also recommend this type of chisel tip for all of you guys because it's uh, one of the most versatile tips, you can do almost everything with it. It has enough mass and um, holds temperature very good when you need to solder very thick stuff and it's okay to solder some fine things too. Stay away from very fine tips like this because uh, this one will have very big issues when soldering very thick wires or very big uh, masses of copper so go with the chisel type so first I will need to insert the tip here I have to say that Secure has on uh, their website, you will find the link into the description. They have a lot of other tips to use. So if you need different tips for different jobs, you can uh, find them there. And most definitely there are other tips that work with this iron too. So right now I want to know exactly how to rotate the tip so that it will help me. Right now it's like so, but yeah, I don't, I don't like this position. I like it more like so because it's thicker. So I will rotate it like so. And all you need to do is just tighten this bolt here. And we are done. They have in the package one cable which has this barrel connector here and on the other side we have an XT60. Be careful that they say 24 volts is the maximum input. So that means that if you are plugging in a fully charged 6S battery that would be a problem. Plug a 6S that is uh, discharged or a 4S or 5S. All we need to do now is just plug it in here. I will not use a LiPo, I will use my power supply. Okay, I will start up from 12 volts. Okay. As you can see, the screen, which is an OLED screen, help us identify the button we need to press to power it. So we have an A and a B button. If we press the A button, the soldering iron will go out of standby mode and heat up the tip. 
Okay, so I already tested the um, accuracy of the temperature control with the help of um, a temperature sensor. Obviously, I am not trusting this sensor because, well, it's cheaply made. But I compared it with my usual soldering iron, my bench soldering iron, and it reads the same when I set it to a particular temperature. What I'm interested in is powered from 12 volts, how fast it will rise to 300 degrees C. So it is powered now on 12 volts and I'm pressing the A button. And as you can see the heating takes a while. Quite a while actually. So I will power it off now. Pressing both buttons at the same time puts the soldering iron to standby mode. And I will uh, wait it to cool down. I will uh, change my power supply to 24 volts, the maximum they uh, say it can handle. It started up. And now let's see how fast it goes up to 300. Yep, I already prepared two things, two cables and one ESC that has uh, a lot of copper on it. First, let's melt some solder on the tip. And let's see if I can uh, take out this metal section. Those wires are disconnected from a battery. Yep, and as you can see, I have some issues now to melt this. I can barely melt it. So let's change the temperature to 400. So 400 is the max temperature it can reach. My bench top soldering iron can uh, go up to 500 if I'm not mistaken. So let's see now if I can melt this. Yep. I can already see that I melted the solder. And I could take out this metal section without any issue. Let's try and do the same thing here. So most definitely 400 degrees C for these beefy wires is the way to go. You can go actually a little bit lower, 350 for example, and it will do the job. I usually prefer to use high temperature and spend less time on the actual pad than to use a little bit lower temperature and stay a lot of time on the pad. So right now I have it on 400 C. I managed to melt the solder and solder it. I can feel the, the solder melting a little bit slower on this ground pad because, well, the ground pad has a lot more mass to it. So we have here the ground. Let's see if we have enough power to solder this cable. Let's see how we can deal with this positive connection. I have to say that these wires have some lead-free solder on it. So this is the main reason I'm uh, having a little bit of issues right now.
Okay. Now let's put the soldering iron on a more normal temperature or at least uh, this is what I am using usually 330 degrees C this is my go-to temperature when I do anything so for example let's uh, try to thin this pad so as you can see I had no issues to thin that pad here again and so on Yep, so after playing with this soldering iron from Secure, I have to conclude that um, it works pretty well. I hope it lasts a lot. I like the tip, I like that uh, it's pretty easy to use and this portable soldering iron would help you out a lot on the field where you don't have a power source at your disposal except a battery. The only problem I see with it is the maximum voltage it can receive. They say 24 volts. If it would take more than 24 volts would be awesome because then you could use a fully charged 6S pack but you could use a 4S, 5S or a discharged 6s and now for the giveaway the only thing you need to do is subscribe to my channel leave a comment down below and in one week's time i will make another video where i will uh, choose one of you that commented on this video and then make the arrangements for the winner to get his hands on this uh, little puppy i will ask you to leave only one comment so that things can go easier Thank you very much guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and till the next time, happy soldering!